so often before, it was Uli Hoeneß who lit the fuse that with one eyebrow raising remark this week, the Bayern Munich president started the countdown to one of the most eagerly anticipated Bundesliga fixtures in years. For the first time in a long time, we are heading to Dortmund as underdogs, said Hoeneß. Whether as underdogs or favorites. Bayern head to Dortmund on Saturday evening for a six-pointer which can well set the tone for the rest of this season. If they win, Bayern will move to within one point of Dortmund, and all bets will be off. If they lose, the gap will be seven points, and Germany will have a title race thought there was, no doubt, a twinkle in Hoeneß eye as he played down this team's chances. After six titles in a row, most of them won in a canter, it has been a long time since Bayern have had their backs quite this close to the wall. Dennis, the old master of media mind games, is enjoying it out with Bayern under the cosh, he is in his element, deflecting attention away from struggling coach Niko Kovic and keeping the pressure on league leaders Dortmund. Over in the yellow corner. They have attempted to play Hunt's mind games with a flat back. Dortmund sporting director Michael Sorg said that it didn't matter who the favorite is, while club consultant Matthias Sammer has said it is a myth that Dortmund are in better form than Bayern. Yet Sammer is fooling nobody. Four points in two places ahead of Bayern in the table, Dortmund have sparkled where their rivals have spluttered this season. Inspired by the tactical moves of coach Lucien Favre and the explosive brilliance of England youngster Jadon Sancho, they have rampaged their way to the top of the table. They have scored 30 goals to Bayern's 18 and conceded one less than them as well. You only need to look at the table, said Bayern coach Klobuk on Friday. Dortmund are obviously favorites, also because they are playing at home. Dortmund's famous yellow wall will indeed be at its raucous best on Saturday evening. They have had some humiliating experiences against Bayern of late, not least a 6-0 dismemberment in March, and precious few moments of revenge. Yet now, the Dortmund fans can smell blood. The fans will make the stadium into a real cauldron, that's for sure, said Bayern defender Max Hildes. The former Dortmund captain, who won two titles with Borussia before returning to Bayern in 2016, went on to lavish the highest of praise on the current crop. They really remind me of how we were in the early years under Jurgen Klopp, said Hummels. The atmosphere around the club is the same, and the team are fun to watch. Rarely, since Klopp, has there been this much excitement ahead of this fixture. The clumsily branded Klassiker, supposedly the Bundesliga biggest game, has been a bit of a damp squib of late, with Dortmund beating Bayern just once in their last eight attempts in the league. Now there is hope, with Borussia back to their brilliant best. Bayern, by contrast, have been rear this term, blundering from game to game with a lethargic clumsiness. Kovac has a thankless task of overseeing a generational transition while simultaneously proving himself as an elite level coach. The result is gently simmering dressing room tension and blunt football. The Bayern coach can at least count on the support of his employers, with Finnis reaffirming his commitment to Kovac this week. We have a team in transition and a young coach who needs to settle in, said the Bayern president. We should be patient. Kovic, for his part, looks as relaxed as ever thought despite dropping another two points against Freiburg last weekend, a win over Eck in the Champions League has settled Bayern ahead of Saturday's clash. He is also a coach who thrives on high-stakes games, having led outsiders Eintracht Frankfurt to two club finals. Dortmund, meanwhile, 
are not infallible. A 2 0 defeat to Atletico Madrid in midweek has softened the euphoria, and there are questions about how this young, sometimes naive team will respond to the pressure. The Bayern players know that, with Manuel Neuer and Leon Goretzka both talking about Dortmund weaknesses this week. The Bayern bosses know it too, which is why Honus is happy to ramp up the pressure on his opponents by casting them as favorites. Yet Dennis would not be Honus and Bayern would not be Bayern if they did not believe wholeheartedly in their own superiority. Asked whether Bayern should have beaten F by a higher margin on Wednesday, Dennis eye twinkled again. As far as I'm concerned, we have an opponent on Saturday who we can beat by 3 or 4 goals, he grinned. So Dortmund are favorites, but Bayern can still thrash them. The countdown is nearly over, let the fun begin.